as I understand it, you were born Catholic, you were an altar boy, you went to Boston College, your parents are observant Catholics. Was it difficult for you to say yes to this project? Uh, no, it wasn't. Um, you know, I was so, the material's so compelling, I thought if anything, all that information that you just shared with this audience quite publicly um, was, was, thanks Scott, um, was, uh, sort of gave me a foothold into the material and gave me a very specific point of view that I, I thought would be helpful. Journalism is something that I believe became a particular interest of yours, not that it wasn't an interest before, but through an acting role of yours, one of the acting roles that we most associate with you and that is not, uh, oh, I guess if you, I'd love to hear you talk about uh, what it entailed, and this is on a little show people may have seen called The Wire. Uh, you played a guy who's not the best journalist in the world in some respects, but it exposed you as an individual to the inner workings of a newsroom, and I wonder if you can talk about how that shaped your interests and understanding of the business. Um, yeah, uh, I joined The Wire in the fifth season playing Scott Templeton, the uh, slightly morally, uh, ethically challenged reporter. Um, but uh, I did learn a lot then. You know, I learned a lot as an actor digging into the material, what, it, what, it, what being a journalist is, sitting with journalists, spending time at the Baltimore Sun, and maybe most importantly, spending time with David Simon, uh, not only a terrific storyteller, uh, but a journalist and a man who remains, uh, I think, uh, one of the biggest fans of, of legacy journalism uh, and a true champion of it. So, uh, you know, I never planned on revisiting the material. I thought Simon did it incredibly well that season. And, and, uh, but when this story uh, uh, sort of came across my desk, I couldn't resist it. And then I think I, I took a lot of what I learned on that show into this film. You and Josh Singer, with whom you wrote the script, you guys in a sense, inhabited the role of the characters that you were writing because in terms of just digging into this story, you guys did a lot of investigative reporting yourselves and a lot of uh, travel to another newsroom up in Boston. So can you talk about what that process was and what the sort of benefits of it were? Um. Yeah, I mean, there was no source material. Obviously, we were focused on the investigation. Uh, we had a lot of uh, information about in, in the articles of what the paper ultimately published, but there wasn't a lot of information regarding the actual bits and pieces of the investigation. And so that's where we picked up. And the only way we could do that is by traveling to Boston and conducting hundreds of hours of interviews, ultimately, not only with the reporters and editors of the paper, past and present, but with everyone else associated with the story, um, lawyers, PR people, uh, everyone of that sort, and, um, and then finally and, 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 and gratefully uh, the some of the survivors um, of the film uh, uh, that we meet, uh, specifically uh, Phil Saviano and, and Joe Crowley, and just because I unexpectedly ran into him on the carpet tonight, I didn't know he was going to be here, Phil Saviano is here tonight with us in this audience. Phil, if you're here... Just stand up and say hello. There he is. There he is, right there. 